Okay, next goofy topic would be, say, a 44 millimeter stroke and a 40 millimeter stroke. Per what, what would be the difference, provided both port timings remain the same, which is not going to happen unless you change to a different wrist pin piston and purposely make it like that. Uh, number one thing you got to look out for is the piston travels farther down toward the crank with the 44 millimeter. So you just knock these corners off so it don't hit. Notice these are sharp. You don't have to take off much. Just barely round them corners over so it don't hit the crankshaft. Uh, typically you need a 2.5 millimeter spacer plate. Again, all depends on what piston you run or if you're willing to deck anything. But the difference is in power between a 44 millimeter stroke and a 40 millimeter stroke provided the port timings are the same would be the gain and displacement and a little bit more crankcase pressure pressurizing your transfers uh piston speeds increased with the stroker but what what what's uh better is rod ratio the smaller the crank the the less dwell time and the more it's trying to cock the piston so you notice a 38 millimeter stroke will rev quicker but it also have more rapid piston wear just simply because the rod ratio uh the longer the stroke the better the ratio and the reason why it also helps is with the longer stroke it has more dwell time at tdc and more dwell time at bdc uh like i said typically you'd need a spacer plate and typically the piston will travel below the exhaust port that ain't nothing to worry about if you have your cylinder too much, then your intake port will be open, but I always run reeds and make a boost port, so 99% of my motors, the intake port's open to the cylinder any damn ways. Window location. Can't stress it enough. If the window is open at BDC, then you, what you're trying to pressurize is blowing back into your reed block and stopping there, increasing your crankcase pressure, decreasing, I mean, Increasing your crankcase volume, decreasing your crankcase pressure. That's why I see people with their windows all the way up here, and I'm thinking, holy shit, they're kind of making a blithering shit bag. Too big of a window is not a good thing. Smaller windows, better wear pattern. Multi hole windows is the best wear pattern. Which one works the best? There's not much difference, but I can I assure you, too big of a window is bum. That equals rapid piston and cylinder wear. I hope this video somehow helps. It's just a little education. Who knows? I could be dead tomorrow. And also, man, I noticed that little 50cc jobber has two gaskets, small piston, very little crankcase pressure, but that little 50cc probably had a horse and a half, and that's on a good day. Any kind of friction on one of these little motors is a freaking horsepower killer. So if you could free up that crank, lose, lose them two gaskets, bring that crankcase pressure up a little bit, uh, put some compression to it, maybe even drop your cylinder and, and retard the port timing some, you might pick up some torque. That's just some helpful tips from my dipshit.